down in Dunkeld and Burnham and we come across somebody hanging from a crane and we then realised it's quite a significant occasion and we pulled a car over to stop so they're placing him on his plimps here we are in Little Dunkel on the 10th of December 2020. Uh, behind me you see a bronze sculpture of Neil Gow made by David Allen. And um, this marks the culmination of I suppose 20 years of um, 20 years since we first talked about putting up a memorial to Gow. He um, he was a famous fiddler. He lived here almost well he died um, in 1807, so it's it's 190 193 years after his death. Is that right? My maths is crap. <laughs> <laughs> um, a long time. A long time. <laughs> it's a long time ago. Uh, and he was uh, quite a man, quite a, quite a celebrity in his lifetime. He, uh, he taught many people to play and um, one of his biggest fans was Robert Burns. Now there are many statues throughout the world of Robert Burns but this is the first statue of Neil Gow. It's just something to remind locals and also to tell visitors that this man lived here, who he was and um, why why he deserves a, a memorial. He's, uh, he's remembered of course by the annual Neil Gow Festival which happens in Dunkeld every year and he, um, he's remembered most of all by his legacy of great music which is still played today. So it's quite nice to see finally uh, a lasting tribute to the man, not far from his home village of Inver, which is just across the other side of the Tay from Dunkeld. So there you are, Neil Gow, 1727 to 1807. Um, thanks to all the people who've supported this venture, uh, and there are many, and um, I hope uh, I hope the community appreciates who they have in their midst now. I'm sure they will. Um, it's been a long time coming, but it's nice to see it finally achieved and in place. Pete, it's, it's a magnificent statue. And what was your part in all of this? 20 years ago, myself and friends talked about having some sort of thing to to uh, remind people about Neil Gow, because he's largely forgotten, unless you're a musician or a fiddle player, you don't know much about Neil Gow, if anything. Um, so we thought, how, how could we, um, how could he commemorate his life? Um, so the festival was born in 2004, and then um, over the years we gradually um, built momentum and gradually accumulated sufficient funds to cause this to happen. And you, you're a fiddler yourself, aren't you? You play the fiddle. Yeah, I, I play the fiddle, and um, I've always loved Neil Gow's music. And I just happened to be living in this part of Perthshire, and uh, I was inspired by the same landscape that inspired Neil Gow, and I gradually got to know about him and his life and his friends and his legacy. Were you actually brought up here? Or? No, I was brought up in Dunfermline in Fife. Okay, and then um, moved here. But I've been in Perthshire for um, 30 years now. Mm. It's a lovely place to live. Fantastic. Thank you very much. I really You're appreciate welcome. that. Thank you. Could you just tell us who you are? And then I, if you want, I'll just fire some questions at you. Okay, um, I'm David Allen. I'm a sculptor from Kilmeny in Fife. And um, I've been at this for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I know you for another um, excellent piece of work, and that's of John Rattray, another Persia man yes. at Leith Links. Uh -huh. And um, this Neil Gow statue is magnificent again. Yeah. Could you just tell us the remit? You know, uh, how, what were you actually asked to do? Well, you know, well, the, the Neil Gow Society came to me and asked for a statue of Neil, uh, um, Neil Gow, and they went to one or two other artists as well, and they ended up deciding to choose me, which is great because uh, it's been super being introduced to his music properly. I had heard of it, but I had no idea it was uh, quite so good, um, and. Um, so I fell in love with him. The only picture we have him is the Rayburn in uh, uh, Blair Castle. Yeah. I think there's another one somewhere else. Because um, he did a couple, at least. Uh, so that's all we had to go with. So I didn't have a profile. So it's very useful if you have a profile. There was one, but it was quite a dodgy drawing. So, but, um, 
So this is, I think, it's, as near as I can get to what the, the, the Blair Castle Rayburn looks like. And they asked you to do what a life size. Yes, yeah, life size. We kept it life size because he's going to be. He's not going to have a plinth. He's not a statue, really. Yeah. He's more like a piece of sculpture, and he's down at ground level, um, which I've tried to do with most of his pieces. Um, so that's. It's, it's been a joy. We used a real fiddle cast. So if you look at the, the detail on the fiddle, you'll see that it's uh, it's not sculpted. <laughs> it wasn't his real fiddle. No. no <laughs> No, only Pete's allowed to play that. <laughs> no, yeah. no, David, thank you very much okay. and, and congratulations. I think it's thank another you. magnificent. No, that's, that's Thank you very much, Steve. Nice to meet you. Cheers. Bye.